Did you know that you could be a successful trader with just one instrument? You don't need to trade too many instruments at the same time. Once you understand the ins and the outs of one instrument, then you are good to go. And now we are going to be looking at the Euro USD, which is one of the most traded instruments, currency pairs out there. It's a pleasure to have everybody here. Today is the 30th of November, right, 2021. And of course, today is the last day of November. Before you know it, we're into December and the market is going to start to slow down because of participation due to the holiday period, right? And then the market will start to thin out, liquidity will thin out and so on. But for now, looking at the Euro USD and what we have right in front of us, right? We're going to do our analysis based on this. You could also watch the previous video on this Euro USD from last week to show you the follow through of what we have been looking at. Now, for this week, right? For this week, don't forget this Euro USD, it's a no brainer that it is a downtrend, right? But then we called this lows. As this area here was at a weekly demand but then we've cleaned up the chart a bit just to show you what is happening now and what we would like to see if you look very well we have this area here of support and then acted as resistance and then after the breakout here to the upside it is now acting as what it is now acting as support yes now acting as support now for where it is here for me, this is a, um, it's in a no-go area, right? Because you can't be buying or selling in the middle of two key levels. So from what we have over here, I would like to see this market, this uh, currency pair Euro USD, get to this area of resistance, this area of supply, and then we'd like to take some shots over here to bring it back down. Right, so you can see right here we've had support and then resistance. So this is clearly still an area of interest that we would like to see in the market. But then what if the market goes the other way? That's another thing that traders fail to realize. They're so bent on taking a trade in a particular direction and then they end up not even using stop loss to the point where when the trade keeps on going against them, they now start to wish, they start to hope, they start to believe, they start to pray that no, this trade is still going to go in my favor, right? But that is not how to trade. You need to always have a plan B, right? You need to always look at the market from two points of view. It's like playing a chess game. Before you, you, move, you move your pawn or you move your queen, your rook, your knight or any of your players, you need to always ask yourself what would my opponent do if i move this piece what would my opponent do if i move that piece what would my opponent do right so if this market doesn't push up to this area here then let's look at another scenario another scenario now is that obviously it will go down right but i'm not even looking at this area anymore this is still a good area right to take it up from here but truly i would like the market to come back to this area here this is more or less like an origin area to come back to this area and then push higher from here right and then of course as we always say you could always use some form of confluence you could decide to add whether it's your fibonacci or those that use the moving average or you use bolinga bands or whatever you use as a form of confluence you can always add it to the mix of this simple support and resistance with price action now there are a million and one ways to trade you cannot know a million and one ways just know one master one take advantage of one whenever it gives you opportunities in the market make your pips go back rinse and repeat that's all rinse and repeat rinse and repeat so that's what you're going to be doing in the market Trading doesn't have to be difficult. We are the ones that make the simple difficult. Once you understand the steps, once you understand the process on how to trade, 
All you now need to do is to follow through. And that's why it's very difficult for traders to follow rules, right? Because of lack of patience, lack of discipline, and a whole lot of other reasons. But from what we have right in front of us, all we have to do, as we've done now, we've painted two scenarios. We've painted the first scenario of price coming to this area here for us to get our shots. And we've painted the scenario of price getting to this area for us to take our longs, or maybe even this area here, right? But this is not really a strong area for me as such. After a while of looking at support and resistance price action, you start to have a better understanding of the levels that they call key. Key levels, right? Not just levels. We have levels and then we have key levels. So this is what we're looking at now. You can take a screenshot of this and then save it and then watch the market later today to see how things start to unfold at the end of the day, right? Later today, we also have some uh, data coming out in the market. If I'm not uh, mistaken, we have the uh, Fed chair. And of course, that's the power who has been uh, re-elected again, right? So later today, we have uh, the Fed chair. Before then, we have uh, the GDP for the CAD. And then we had the Fed chair power who will be on the wires by 4 p.m. That's W80, West African time. So of course, expect possible volatility around this period. So the best thing to do, if you're not in any trade, then don't rush into any trade. As we always say, let the market come to you. No point in rushing in and then getting your fingers burnt. And then when you have a clean enough opportunity, you are afraid, fear, you are afraid to jump back, back in. And this is something that happens to a lot of traders. After a while, they get scared to get back in because of something that happened much earlier. And then they end up failing to pull the trigger on a trade that would have worked if they were patient and all, right? So let's call it a day from here. We're just talking about the Euro USD and what we're expecting today or even this week, right? So let's see how things unfold. And if we get any opportunity, of course, I would show you which one worked over the other. If you have any questions, don't forget, you have the comment section below. You can always ask a question or you can always comment. Let me know how these videos are helping you, right? Or if you like to see a particular video, comment in the section below. And then also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then turn on the notification bell. And of course, like this video, like and share. It helps the algorithm. It helps me to grow. And of course, it helps others to see the video. And of course, it will help you to trade the proper way. If you want to learn how to trade using support and resistance trading strategy, there's a free course below. Link up in the description section. Connect to it. Watch it. Watch it. And watch it all over again. It's free. After watching, ask your questions and we'll see what we can do for you. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to trade safely. Ensure your stop loss is in place and always calculate your risk parameters appropriately. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye for now. God bless.